Yeah, a little Just bit of a team captain. Which how do you feel right now? It's very difficult to explain. Uh, that's a tough one for me, emotionally. The last 24 hours have been pretty tough, so, you know, um, after the DMR last night, we uh, we had to reassess and we warmed up today, not even know if I was going to run, so, you know, it's been a really tough, emotional 24 hours, but, you know, I knew I could come out here and do the job. Why did you not think you might be able to run? Like, since the DMR, I've had some stomach problems, but, you know, I uh, don't know what those were, but I had to uh, make sure they were at the back of my mind. Were you still like, eating before the meet today? Yeah, yeah, it was all fine like that, but... You know, in jogs and did a couple of sprints and stuff, and it was a little bit, a little bit tight. So, but you know, like with the race adrenaline, it's always going to go to the back of your mind. So. What was the game plan for you? Yeah, we had lots of different ones. <laughs> um, one was we were hoping that Ole Miss, Sean told me we go at the front, and but uh, you now these Virginia Tech guys went out quite hard. So as soon as they slammed the brakes on, I saw an opportunity to go on the inside. Took that opportunity, and then uh, these Oregon kids came with about a K to go. So. You know, these things are going to chop and change throughout the race. But I just need to make sure I was up there near the front and pushing for the gold. So this revenge, redemption? <laughs> no, it's just just coming out and racing. So, you know, I need to make sure that every race is the same and they're coming out with the same effort in every race. So, you know, I've been pushing hard to, to peak for this one and it, it did show off there and it, I was ready. Yeah, I mean, I was watching you on the start line and you had a very, you know, serious expression mm -hmm. throughout. Is that, I mean... Is that typical for you, or is this more, you know, serious than you? No, this is this is pretty serious. I needed to be 100% on my game plan today. I knew I had to be working hard to make sure that I was going to be able to come away with a goal today. So, no, it, it maybe not been a bit like me, but you know, it's exactly what I need to do. What was the feeling across the finish line? I saw you sort of up to the camera. What's going through your mind? Just being an idiot, really. <laughs> you know how it is. I get a bit carried away, but no, that was a serious win for me and. Uh, to after the last 24 hours to come out and do that and I think I ran reasonably quick so you know, kept the race exciting for everyone to watch and uh, made sure it was fun for me as well. Josh, uh, to, uh, uh, to that point, we know, we know what your speed is. And we know <laughs> you showed a mil uh, Milrose that you can yeah. anybody in the world. Today seemed more about kind of will, kind of, yeah. kind of de determination, like yeah. I'm going to show how damn tough I can be. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's what I've been trying to show is after these you know, four minute miles of altitude or DMR splits quite quick, you know, I'm ready to go again, you know. I've been working hard to make sure that 255 is not my peak and I can show that I can run 255, stand up, look at the camera and have a little have a little growl at it. <laughs> Were your legs feeling tired from the races? No, or really just that was the hardest part on what I tried to get across, especially I spoke to the committee guy yesterday and I was like, look, it wasn't my legs that was the issue, it was, it was my stomach. So, you know, I let, I let my DMR boys down yesterday and I needed to make sure that I uh, came out and fought today. What did you mean? <laughs> uh, I think I just ate a bit too late. I don't think it was what I ate. I don't remember what I ate now, but you know, I think I should have come after the race, ate, home, jog, but I did it the other way around. Back, home, jog, ate. So, you know, that's just a rookie error and that's my mistake, so we're going to have to move forward with it. Was this the toughest day you three in like that? Um, I wouldn't say toughest. I think first time having pressure on me come outdoor, that was a tough one for me as well. You know, first time handling that kind of spotlight was difficult, but um, no, this was this is a good one mentally for me. They've all been lots of different experiences, so I'm enjoying to get looking forward to getting up on that podium. But do you know? I know Chris O'Hare was sort of all banged up and uh, yeah. called indoors. Do you think it would be possible if he like maybe scratched from Commonwealth so you'd be able to run that? Um, n there's a couple of people that scratched from Commonwealth, so if I was going to get a spot, I probably wouldn't say yes if I'm being perfectly honest, just because we're in a plan now with class and with races and. Um, Looking forward into the future, I can't take a three, four week journey over to over to the Gold Coast right now. So yeah. All right. congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.